I've been doing a lot of stretching lately. A lot of calisthenics. Stretching the penis. Mm. But pulling that foreskin. Who's got a smoke detector with no battery? I just heard it beep. I think that's Mike messing with stuff behind the screen. Oh, oh not me. I have nothing beeping here. Yeah. Mark, what kind of skin regimen do you have? Uh, pretty bad one. I need to start wearing makeup like you guys. I don't know. I think from what I know is you're the one that wears makeup. <laughs> I don't think any amount of cover-up could cover up the mess that's happening there, Mark. I just need to get rid of this second chin, and I think I'll look good again. Yeah. Once this is gone, that's it. I'm fucking, I'll am fucking. i be fucking hot as shit. I don't think the chin area is the only problem, though. Yeah, the chin, the dick, and the gut, and the tits. Dude, I ate double stuff Oreos the other day at night, and I cleared a whole container of them. Holy fuck. Yeah, a whole fucking thing. And then I swear to God, the next morning when I woke up, I looked down at my dick, and my titties grew, like as I slept. I'm not awesome. even kidding. Like my nipple looked puffy, like like a feminine puffy nipple. <laughs> oh, what I get my, myself next then? Just from eating Oreos. Like I, I can't do that shit anymore. Stay away from Oreos, folks. Yeah. And Make you feel like shit. It's not worth it. Mm. Mm hmm. You clicked the live yet? I think we should go live. Are you ready? Is your TV ready? Fine. Fuck it. I'm going to throw this TV in garbage. <laughs> you look good, but Mark's background looks like a garage. I'm in a garage, actually. Mark okay. looks fucking blurry as fuck. Yep. I am not fucking blurry. I think it's time to step your fucking camera game up, Mark, but whatever. And we'll leave microphone that. game. Stop using that fucking C920, Mike. Low end. We're going to start showing yeah. again. Michael Incro wrote double stuffed nipples. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. I should start taking pictures of the weird shit that happens. I took a piss when I was upstairs before the show, and I swear to God, I saw these little transparent, it looked like little transparent worms, like microscopic in the bottom of the toilet. Dude, if you got worms in your urine, you might want to go to the ER. I don't know. Let's start the show. Holy shit. Sometimes when I wipe, I see blood, but that's normal. Ignition. We are live, 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 live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Vape Team, the motherfucking great team. It is Cloudy Entertainment for that ass. Thursday nights, this is 199. The one before 200. Yep. We did it. We're almost at 200. I don't know if we're going to make it. If Mark keeps up his shenanigans, I have no idea if we're going to be able to pull this thing off. But uh, with me, as always, the man who really doesn't need an introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway. I've been doing it for hundreds of shows now. The Greek god of modern vaping, Mount Olympus, the king of clouds, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the matchstick man, the iron fucking lung. Yeah. Mikey motherfucking vapes. Good evening. Greg, Sid, chat. Thank you. We also have a pretty son of a bitch that likes to wear makeup on live shows. He also likes to sunbathe in the backyard and just speedos in the summer months. His name is Bulk Hogan, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, folks. I'm trying to get rid of my double chin right there. You, you, you should get some transparent tape and tape it up behind your neck. Do you have any tape in that uh, office of yours? If Angela tapes the back of my neck, it'll get rid of it. Hmm. Um, can we get a little heads up out there in chat? By the way, good evening, chat. Good, good evening, everybody out there. Uh, thank you for joining us for another show. 
and a great show we have. We actually have a full-fledged agenda. I'd like to start off by personally apologizing for last week. Um, we had a huge power outage. There was a transformer that blew down the street. Not only did the transformer blow, but whatever fucking happened, the whole house blacked out during the show. I'd like to thank Mike and Mark for heading over to Mike's channel, you know, Mike Vapes, and uh, covering for the show. Amy and I ended up um, not having internet till Sunday morning. So from Thursday to Sunday morning, you don't realize how much you haven't gotten in touch with yourself unless you've got given up internet for like three days. It's a whole different world. Everything feels a lot more safe and secure and less drama and stress and headaches. But uh, yeah, we got the yeah, internet I'm, back. I'm glad I put makeup on that show just for you to fucking end the show like five minutes ahead of time. Good. Good job. I'll never put makeup on again. Honestly, I don't even think it looks any different. Do you think, Mike, he looks different tonight from last week? No, he's I look, on again. Dude, I looked really good last week. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, speaking of uh, good, why don't you tell us what good shit you're vaping on tonight, Mark? You have uh, five minutes from this point, so uh, why don't we do a little bit of buffet action? Yes. Go ahead, baby. Uh, this is the... Bow! The rudder with the... Uh, what is that called? The geek or yeah, geek vape something. Tugan. Tugan? Toucan. Toucan. There you go. Toucan. Sam mod. Yes. Uh we got another Action. Rudda with the uh what is that called? The Falcon Fuckface. King sub ohm tank. And then we got the little Aegis, uh I wanna say I'll say mini, I think. With the uh, uh, we need uh, a stop real quick, Mark. Hold on one second. Not the real, not the real Gerard Butler gave two dollars. He said, "What does an interrupting cow say?" I'm gonna fucking stick my no. BTFC sitting on top of that bad boy, and I got a pod system laying somewhere. I got this juice is super good. The Paradigm lemon, uh, lemon, what should we call it? Pounder. Pound cake. Pounder. Uh, Gregory Pound Brown, cake. two dollars just to screw up Mark's buffet. There you go. I'm gonna fucking stick it in your ass, Gregory. Got some of the banana custard. I think Gregory might accept you. And in. Hold on. There was another thing I was vaping on. Where's it at? Hold on. I've been vaping the whole thing the whole fucking day. Uh, Chest hair millionaire, two dollars. He said Mark looks like he is wearing makeup tonight, and I agree. He definitely does. You're gonna be wearing makeup when I'm fucking you in the ass. Uh. And I got some of Strawberry the One. Thank you, sir. That's it. Take it away there, Mr. CVT. Dude, there is absolutely nothing on your buffet that is approved before the show. None of that stuff that we talked about when you said, oh, I don't give a fuck. I'll sell out. I'll take payments. And you set it up. <laughs> so what's up with that? Are you not honoring the money you've taken? Uh, I have other... Other... Boyfriends? What? Other. Other. All right. Thank you, Mark. All right. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Does everybody hear Mark well tonight? Because he uh, went out and spent uh, $30 on a uh, plate, uh, Fisher Price microphone. It's called my first microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, it's really fun before the show because Mike and Mark do camera battles. And Mike, why don't you show what you're working with real quick? Already? <laughs> uh, what do you want me to do? Show what? I was just talking about how before the show starts, when we're when we're hanging out, we do uh, camera wars, mm -hmm. and uh, you you how you were blowing Mark's doors off because what happens is Mike gets new equipment, and then Mark copies them and gets the same shit, and then. Mark tries to get his settings like Mike's, but Mike gives Mark the wrong settings, or Mike Mark, Mark just can't figure it out. So it ends up being like, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect transition. Now go I ahead, think Mark. mine isn't mine quicker, dude. It's a jutting transition. Look at that. It's like, bah, bah. look how easy Mark's Mike's is. Look at that. Mine is like butter. Mike Mark Mike is like a good lover that knows how to slip it in nice and slow, get the person interested. And just Mine's give like it to you. Cheese. Yours is like fucking spitting from a distance, missing, and then just jamming it in. It's very different. Mine doesn't even do that, I don't think. Hold on. Yeah, see, mine's <laughs> <laughs> mine's just good. I don't have that bokeh, though. It's pretty clear, right? No? 
Look at the bad boy. Anyway, Rebuildable Ryan's play toy. I don't know who the fuck that is. $2. Shout out to my man, Rebuildable Ryan. What the fuck is that about? I have no idea. So there you go. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, I got to talk about what I'm vaping on tonight. So I got a hot cup of coffee, a little bit of energy, and I'm vaping on the Why So Serious Signature Tips Beauty. This is the Dual SX that you can't get anymore that I'm vaping with the uh, Watofo Profile Unity. So there you go. I got that, Profile Unity RTA. I'm also vaping on some of this. This is the Platform Series. I think it's, what is this this mod called? This little fucker, uh, the Zenith, is it? No, no, it came with the no, Zenith. The Chroma. The Chroma, the Chroma A. And I also have this slide on top of there for a little mouth to lung action. The mouth to lung liquid, 18 milligram, came in the mail. This is called Baker's Vapor Cinecrunch. Look at that. Ba Baker's Vapor Cinecrunch, 18 milligrams. I'm trying to lower the Nick salt because it's been agitating me. And my, I've been short of breath a little bit. And I don't know if it's the fucking rows and rows of uh, Oreo stuff that I eat or if it's this. But some, something's going on. So I'll try to hit that up. Uh, what else am I vaping on tonight? I got the Bestia with the Rebirth on top. I'm vaping on that. I'm also vaping on a little bit of this uh, Hit That Donut Boston Cream. I'm enjoying some of that. This came in the mail. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome, sir. Uh, last but not least, Liquid Wise, Hudson Project. Yeah, the Catskills. This shit is banging. Hudson Project, the Catskills. Love it. And uh, the, the Z, what is this? The fucking Z? I think it's called the Beep, but you can't see it, so fuck it. I thought it's the Bip. Oh, real quick, real quick. Awesome juice. I don't know if it's available. All I know is that Inakin Dwayne handed me a sample and he handed it to me in a secret way and he said, Dude, try this. And I fucking vaped it all. This is a brand new dinner lady flavor called Special Edition. What? Is, dude, I can't fucking see. Hold on. Gotta get my readers. Here we go. Special Edition Strawberry Macaroon. Yo, when this shit hits the market, I'm telling you, if I had Mark's camera or Mike's camera, you'd be able to see this right now. Hold That's on. It. Old school. That's good. Look at that. Old school. We see it perfectly. Do you? Yeah. Right. There you go. Thank you. All right, Mike. Buffet time. Time is cool. yours. Cool. Uh, this is a new device from uh, E-Leaf called the iStick Mix. It's got like a resin panel on one side and a funky other panel on the other. Then I got the Rebirth RTA on top of it. Inside there, I have some Joe Mother F and Turner's Joe. Raspberry Custard. Also vaping on a SQ217 with the Rebirth RDA. We got some Taffy Splashy inside there. Also vaping on the new, uh, I guess the new Aegis from Geek Vape. And I have the Berserker Mini MTL RTA, the V1.5. And inside there, I got some Paradigm Nilakilla, some 12 milligram in there. And uh, Finder with the Profile Unity with some boysenberry ice cream inside there. A little pot action also. Be hitting off the Caliburn. That's the buffet. Beautiful. Um, you guys might notice this evening that there's some light music playing in the background. It's mood music. We're experimenting tonight. Uh, we're going to have a little bit more. <laughs> Look at Mark. <laughs> What's that crease that you have in your neck? That's called a fat crease. It looks like a Garrett wi uh, wire, Mark. Like you, you were get trying fat to. fat in your neck kind of buckles I used, I over. I thought it was dirt buildup. I was always no. afraid to say something to you. No, that's a fat crease. Do you get uh, dirt in the crease? Yes, but I shower daily. Well, I, sometimes daily. Can we change your name to Apollo Crease? We sure could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love you, man. Doom. All right. Um, a little uh, a sad news. Uh, we we were going to have a special event this evening. Uh, it was warm. It was 55 degrees in Chicago today. And uh, Mark gave us all the information that he was going to go outside and uh, fulfill his destiny, which was to complete the dare we had from a few shows ago. Once again, excuses, excuses, excuses. Mark gave us excuses and said that he had business matters to attend to. 
I promise the video will be next Thursday. If not, you guys can kick me off the show. Yeah. All right. We'll see it. We'll believe it when we see it. Uh, real quick, we got a donation in chat from Chris Bolsver Cotolio. Cotolio. Oh. Uh, what's up, guys? Just got back from the Bahamas. Just want to thank you guys for your signatures and company at NVE. Awesome seeing you guys. So thank you, Chris. Thank Much you. love and thank you for the donation. We really appreciate it. Um, I do have to do a dare that I was supposed to do last week um, that Amy threatened me. She's not here tonight, so I could probably get away with not doing it. But she wants me to blow up this balloon. Yeah, she told me to be sure that you do the dare so doesn't this look like there's like some sort of sticky shit on here wait what is on that Why is it, like... <laughs> it looks like something it's i don't know trying to poison you so anyway later on in the show i'm going to attempt to blow up a balloon if anyone knows i got balloon issues i don't know if it was from somebody popping shots on me when i was a kid or popping balloons around me or something but i, I have a lot of you know like fingers on a chalkboard like that feeling that's yeah, what i hate that too yeah, balloons give me that feeling, and I hate it. I fucking can't stand it. Like, if I have to pick up balloons for, like, an event, it's extremely uncomfortable driving in the car because I feel like at any moment one of those balloons could explode. Not that it would even harm me, but my nerves are on edge. So that's nothing new. That balloon looks like my nutsack when it's really hot out. <clears throat> what, blue balls? No, just, like, deflated and saggy with no balls in it. <laughs> you get, You just got a big bag with no nuts. Yep, pretty much. Um, big congratulations to Mikey motherfucking vapes this week, the announcement video, you can check out his channel, uh, and see it. It was for the beautiful, not don't listen to Mark with the name. It is called the rebirth R T a from hell vape and Mike vapes. So congratulations, Mike. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, any idea when they're going to be, uh, landing? I don't know. Maybe a week or two. Okay. Somebody posted in, um, I think the vape team that um, my V Pro had them in yeah. stock. Was that a false alarm? No. If they say they have them in stock, then they do. They're working with uh, Hell Vape to heavily promote it. Awesome, man. Yep. Um, I, you know, you get this question all the time, and you probably see it all the time, but if you could compare the vape on it, how close would you say you got it to the rebirth as far as the vape experience? Would you say it's. The airflow feels the same. Does it is the experience pretty close? Uh, how do I explain it? It's a different vape than the RDA, obviously. The RDA has more airflow. Twenty percent more. Uh, I don't know how to judge it percentage. But what the rebirth has is the the flavor is just intense off it. So it's more intense flavor on the on the RTA. I had somebody message me today, and he was like, "Holy shit!" He's like, "You nailed it." Yeah. So one of the reviewers, I got it today. Awesome. Yeah. How how's the comments been on the announcement video? Uh, everything good. It looks it looks fucking gorgeous, like the shots People. on Instagram. Yeah, those guys when they you know how it is, the Hell Vape crew when they, on Instagram they just go fuck them. It's crazy. W Widowmaker Vapor dude, he had a picture today that blew my fucking mind. That the blue river oh. water, right? Oh my god! And then the, the other guy, uh, Vape uh, FPV, uh, I think his name is Lee. Those two are just the, the amazing pictures. From those two. Uh, real quick, we got a donation in chat from S. R. Bon Trager. Uh, I was just in Bedford Park earlier today, and the temperature was in the high 60s. So, Mark, you have no excuses. Bedford Park is like right down the street from me. Yeah, no, it was really hot today, and I had it planned out. Um, I'm going to wear my underwear. I was going to wear a bra, and I was going to grab the dildo and run through the trailer park screaming while Angela was going to wait on the other end in the car and she was going to record me running and I was going to hop in but by the time I got home it was getting kind of late and I'm like eh. so definitely next week it's going to happen I promise you rain or shine it's going to happen yeah so anyway uh, in the video uh, the one thing that 
not a lot of people, but there were a few that were curious about was uh, because obviously with the uh, Rebirth RDA, you could do the single coil. And they're asking, can you do a single coil in the RTA? Hmm. Well, technically, uh, yeah, you can. You could do a single coil in here too. Basically, what you have to do is obviously your coil is going to have to be at least like a four, four and a half millimeter coil, even a five. Throw it right inside there. Take the cotton when it comes out, and you just split it and put it in the channels, and that's it. So I'm probably going to do a video showing a single coil inside here very soon. Uh, as far as the um, performance with a single coil, what do you think? I mean, does it? Because I'll, I'll, a lot of people. Oh, you haven't even tried it yourself. No, because my intentions for this wasn't for a single coil. Yeah. For me, it was designed. It's a dual coil RDA. But this, even the, even the RDA, the RDA's intentions wasn't for a single coil. You know, I did not design it for a single coil. So, but people like using a single coil on it. Whatever works, right? Yeah, definitely. I have a I have a sneaky suspicion that the sales are going to be really amazing on it. I think that the 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 rebirth like I see fucking pictures every day everywhere, all over social media, and uh, it looks like you nailed the spirit because a lot of times like you'll have an RTA that comes out and it just doesn't even resemble what it was supposed to be from the uh, from the original product and this thing looks like it looks like it should be the rebirth RTA. Yeah, looks fucking yeah, awesome. The like looks awesome. People in chat are saying if I'm sick or whatever. I'm um, not sick. I don't know why. Do I look sick or something? I think you look good. Mm. I'm fine. You know a what? Tired. Look at the camera a little bit. Let me see. You need a doctor in here. You look sexy. I'm, I'm, I'm a little fine tired. So yeah. I'm good. We were talking earlier uh, before the show started about how the vape game ages people. And with the 200th episode uh, coming up next week, you know, there's been, a, at least for me, there's been a ton of reminiscing about, like, the madness of the early stage of really, you know, when, when this whole show started, and we'll talk about some of this next week, like, we were just hanging out as friends. Like, it was totally, I mean, it was stressful just because we didn't want to look stupid, but we were just like, you know, three middle-aged dudes just fucking kicking it, and we decided to record it. And... um but I was looking at a lot of the, like, especially me, I, I look like I aged 10 years in the past, like, three or four years. It's fucking yeah. crazy, man. I look like a little kid when I watch the old videos. Do you know it looks like a, a, a real tiny little kid? Matt, if you watch his, like, earlier videos, dude, he looks like he's, like, 13. Yeah. But I also think it's the time, like, when I started doing it, I was, like, 36. And like when you transition and some people it happens like 33 to 38, some people it happens from 36 to 40, some people it happens at 50, but like you hit that period where you start to just age a little bit. And I think stress and also just, you know, lack of sleep and, you know, diet and getting lazy, you know, sitting in the basement on your ass all day and not moving, you know, all that or kind of stuff sort of plays it. One side effect from vaping is that it makes you age quicker. Here we fucking go. Mark with the science. Have you, have, has anyone in chat noticed that you look Mark, you are older? the vaping anti-advocate. How funny would that be, though? That's one of the side effects. How funny if your dick fell off from vaping? I mean, well, there could be any potential side effect. <laughs> you age quicker. That would be one screwed up no. side effect. Well, well, that is not a side effect, folks. I am a doctor, and that is not a side effect. So do you guys think that, you know, they're, they're kind of, it's interesting how things are going right now. Is there going to be like an RTA battle between uh, Mark and, and Mike? No, they're two totally different RTAs. Is it going to be like China versus North Korea? No. Yeah, right. No, I, I am coming out with the Reborn RTA. That's going to be following the bulk, like probably the week after. So yeah, that might be a battle. Yeah, that's the one thing I hate is when stuff just comes out at the same time like that yeah i mean you go back like a month ago nothing was coming out or two months ago rtas and then all of a sudden you get the zeus coming out mine coming out marks coming out all at the same time plus the profile unity rta came yeah. out even though yeah. i feel like that's a totally different that's a different category yeah you know i, feel I like that's consider a separate... that a, uh, an rta yeah 
it's like its own category. Yeah. Yeah. But it is that's funny how of, things work. That's more of a RMA. Rebuildable Rebuild. mesh atomizer? I don't know. There you go. Isn't an RMA something you get when you return a product to a store? Yep. Uh, Mark would know that. Yeah. I return shit daily. Mark's the kind of dude that buys shoes and underpants and like an outfit for the weekend and then returns it on Monday after he wears it. There's one thing I haven't returned though. What's that? Is that a replica? Uh, Yours is way shorter, but probably thinner. Yeah, it's like mine's like a pencil. Dude, look at Mike doing fucking Boca pounds. Uh, yeah. Fist bumps instead of peeps in chat. <laughs> fist, fist bump Boca pounds. Uh. Dude, so, Mark, is that used? Uh, the person that gave it to me, it, it had some brown stains on it, but I kind of sucked them off. Oh, that's good. Not the guy that gave it to me. I <laughs> sucked the stains off. <laughs> Uh, uh, do how it, do you get the bulk to stop shooting fireballs? I'm not sure. That's part of the uh, design. Thank you. He went with a no insulator design that basically if you shake the device or put it, in, you have to vape vertically like this because if you turn it sideways, the positive hits the negative and it starts yes. to have a huge problem. Uh, do you want to give a shout out to Spring Vaping UGA Girl uh, in chat and maybe uh, give a little a little what's up for this weekend? Oh, yeah, let me, let me actually look at her email this time because she actually emailed me the because the last time I tried to shout her out, I fucked everything up. Um, did I save her email? Oh, my God. Did you not? No, I didn't. So she'll put it in chat. But me, ST, I think Mike. Mike is going to be on there? Uh, if I feel good, yeah. Okay. And possibly Brian. I hope to. Up. I have a birthday party that I have to go to on Saturday. But if I get home in time, I, I would love to do it. Because I, I talked to her and uh, said that, when things slowed up after the launch of the Profile Unity RTA, I was uh, interested in going on the show. And uh, so this would be a perfect time to have all of us, if possible. Um, it's going to be on Spring Vapa, Spring Vaping. I'm not sure if it's Uga Girl or UGA Girl. I'm not sure how she said it. I like it. Uga. Uga. Ah. Um, we're going to be on a li the live show on Saturday, 7 Eastern, 6 Central, and I forgot the name. She did Oh, the Rising Vapor Show. There we go. Yep. This Saturday. So if you guys want to come hang out, come hang out with us. Are you going to be able to control yourself on that show, Mark? Because she hopes you don't. Probably not, no. So I hope she doesn't monetize the uh, show because it will probably get pulled. You want to uh, give an update on side boob for people that don't know? Side boob is in the other room, doing great. We're going to actually be doing a juice review tomorrow. So she's doing good. Fuck you will happen Monday, and everything is a go. Doing great. I'll, we'll explain probably uh, Monday exactly like what happened and this and that. And She's doing great, and she thanks everyone for all the wishes and lovely comments you guys left. It was really awesome. No doubt about it. Thank you. What's that, Mike? Oh, there, that's the uh, Rebirth RTA. Yeah. Uh, GD Snuff, $5. Love you guys. Did you notice the flavor difference between the NI-80 and sta uh, Stainless Steel 316 coils? That was the first question. And Gary J Jaworski, $2. Mark, keep it. Hash uh, Mark, keep it. Hashtag your dildo. Hashtag you are a unicorn. So there you go. That was Gary's dildo that Mark licked the brown stuff off of. So. Yeah, I think Gary bought the dildo, or he had something to do with buying the dildo. That's actually it, Gary's dildo. He uses it. Yeah. That's there we go. I knew it was something like that. Uh, Kyle says Angela is pregnant. Oh, uh, that would be a negative, unless you can get pregnant off blowjobs, because that's usually my cup of tea right there. Uh, someone asked if the rebirth will be in Canada. That's up to distributors. I, I have no control over that. <laughs> the the baby comes out looking smoking blunts and looks like ST. That would be <laughs> that would be wow. good. That'd be creepy. Yeah, uh, ST's seat is strong. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have to answer the question that we uh, GD Snuff asked. He said, "Do you guys notice the flavor difference between uh, NI80 and stainless steel 316?" No, no, I don't. I don't, but I know that there's people that do have like a sensitivity to different metals. I don't know if it's in their head or well, it's probably not in their head. They probably experience it, but I personally don't. I can't tell. That'd be like notice. Uh, that'd be I don't know. I guess some people could. But I did notice with N90 coils. 
I don't dig them. I don't know why. It was. What don't you dig? I don't know. I just the flavor I get off it. Hmm. I don't know. My vaping styles changed so much, like recently, that what I used to really enjoy. Do you guys remember when like China first started making those kits of coils? And they would mail us like a kit of like fifty fucking like railroad track super deluxe. Like they were fucking huge, yes. and and the wire was so thick. And How about you, the ones from Geek Vape. Yes. Dude. Oh my god! You could have a dual battery, two hundred watt mod. You'd have to fire that thing at one hundred and forty, and it would still take a time to ramp up. Yeah. And it would get so fucking hot that your that you would burn your mouth because it was so hot. Yep. I did not like those coils. Nope. But you got to give a shout out to all the coil builders out there because they sort of like perfected to how to get the best vape experience at the perfect resistance for different types of vaping. And coils evolved like over the course of the past couple of years and they've gotten so fucking good. I so was so good. in love with these coils. There you go. That's them right there. Yeah. These are like the. No, that's. There's, big... there's another set that are bigger Hold than on. these. Hey, yep. Brian. Yep. Yes. Those were fucking them. huge. Hold on, hold on. I gotta grab something. These aren't the fuse clap. The, I think they were like fuse clap ones. But you know, if you got an yeah, RD, yeah. let's say you got a big like 28 Please. or 30 millimeter with a lot of airflow, those coils are really good in something that has a lot of airflow. Because they would get hot as a motherfucker. And you need like a lot of power to hit, heat those bitches up. The options you had was shit like that, and then you had packs like this. And actually, these are pretty cool still. But you could do it yourself so much easier. But look at this fucking coil. Hold on. Let me pull it out of this pack. This was from Yude from back in the day. Oh, I know what you're going to pull out. You don't and that. it looks like the spring on like a spring. Like when you have like a, a latch for like a, a water, um, an automatic water purifier for like a, a cat or something like that. And there's a latch with a spring. Like that's exactly what these fucking things hey, look like. Some of these? Look at this. Oh, yes, I had I had a package of those. Oh god, those. 0. 0.5 26 gauge. Look at these fucking things. Hey, hey Mark, look, I have a pack of one of those too. Yep. <laughs> I used to, I used to love those coils. I need to go through this uh all these coils and have this shit in here I'm never going to use. Thanks Chuck of Cloud. There you go. Yeah. I knew I had it. Oh, wow. That is classic. Yep. I told you, Chucka, I've been eating those fucking Oreos, man. The good news is I get fed up with myself, and then I just start taking care of myself again, and it's like a vicious cycle, up and down. Eventually, I'm just going to give up. But Are these any good, yeah. the Wotofa ones? It sucks being a human being. Are these ones i never tried before. Which ones are those? The Wotofa? Yeah, I know the Wotofa. Which ones are those? Oh, shit, I have no idea. These are the uh, Clapton... Point three three. Never in eighty. Never tried them though. Hmm. Yep. And the uh, my vapor store used to have the, the UG back in the days. Dude, I fucking love this fucking mod. The only coil ever to use. Bam. Bam. Get it to focus at least. I know, ain't it? You can't even do it. You want a focus battle? We'll do it. That's this is, this is my favorite coil right here. Yep, it's the best. This is fucking just awesome all around coil, regulated or NMAX. Uh, somebody in chat just asked about the, when the top side Yihi is going to be coming out. The uh, top side dual with the Yihi and the upgraded version, the elitist <coughs> fucking fuck version. And I have been nonstop working on it since I announced it. Uh, we're testing out a ton of different materials to make sure that it's not just a tiny upgrade from the uh, dual, that it's actually like really premium. So if you're going to pay a premium price, it's actually going to be like some dope ass materials. So, uh, it's, it's still happening. What's a, what's a dope ass premium material? Well, that's the secret. And that's why when it happens, you're going to be like, Oh shit. So you're going to create like a new metal. I'm not creating shit. We're testing different things that are on the, the available for us to sample. And then mm. we're seeing how it holds up durability wise, weight wise, mm. you know, look, all that kind of stuff. So like 2021? 
2021. I was thinking more like 22. Oh, okay. But nice, nice. I promise you it's still happening and we're still working on it. And I got a whole <laughs> bunch of other dope-ass stuff to talk about. Doom, doom. What is that, a sack of coils? This is uh, Nick Devine. You guys know Nick Devine? He's a Philly dude. Yep, his coils. I met him at NVE. Took me up with his coils. Yeah, we're working on using adamantium. I have no clue who this is. Give me some coils. I got these coils at the show when I was in uh, NVE. Is it the same one? This package? Yes, here? that's exact. Dude, how the fuck are we all at. Th- Look, we all grabbed the same one. Dude, this looks yeah. like we're paid, and this is that's just weird. like. It's because we really. This is the only coils I got was this yeah. one right here and this bag. This guy here, he came up to you with this bag, right? Yeah. He opened up a thing, yep. and he built. He put the coils inside the plastic, everything all right there, right? Mm hmm. Like he was sitting in the lounge area, and I got up. He walked up and stopped me. Dude, yeah. what the fuck is the name on here? Why can't I read this? It's yeah, it's a small it's, print. It's, it's also tiny. I'm gonna hold it up to the screen. So it looks like four underscore British underscore eyes underscore only four British eyes only. Is that is that British? For British eyes only. I don't know. I'm gonna hold it up, and you guys can read it yourself. But that text is kind of hard four to read. Four British eyes only. There you go. For British eyes only. So is he British? For you. You say that Mark is fucking dumb. They, these are, oh, the aliens are uh, point two each. Hmm. He has a, an Instagram, I know that, but I don't think he has a website, if I asked him. Oh, really? So you can, can you message him on Instagram, or is he selling I, these, or what? I didn't, I, must, I asked him, like, do you have a website, and he said he, he's on Instagram. Dude, this community is pretty fucking small, so I guarantee there's people out there in chat that know this person. So, if you guys want to, if you uh, message Mark at vapingfagin at gmail dot com and give him the information of where to where to pick up these coils, Mark will contact everybody directly. Don't email me. Yep. Unless you're attaching a photo. <laughs> I don't think you could say shit like that in this modern world, Mark. Actually, you could probably get away with it. If anybody can get away yep. with it, you can. Unless there's a legitimate nude photo of a female in that email, I'm not going to open it. Yeah. Letting you guys know. But thank you. Everybody in chat, what is your favorite coils? Like, what do you use the most on your rebuildables? That's a good question. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because people watch the replay and they want to see what the community likes. So I know a lot of people that watch the replay, especially people in other countries that have to work and stuff. They watch the chat as the show's happening on the replay, and they love to hear what everybody has to say. Because what the fuck do we know? Yeah, like what what brand and then what type of coil you use. I know a lot of people make their own coils, but for those that use the pre-made stuff. Yep. Nick Devine used to be on the OG Coil Wars series. I'm gonna be giving a doing a giveaway of these so you can burn your face off. Dude, those were fucking. If you got a 30 millimeter RDA, those would be awesome. Dude, how about these? (laughs) <laughs> those coil master yeah. these oh, were God. terrible yeah. dude these what were these these were like twisted fucking claptons fused yep. claptons they called these fused claptons but these were twisted as fuck yeah are they still around because i haven't heard from them in so long what coil master yeah, yeah they've been quiet been, have they done anything lately you never know though. they could have another brand that we don't even know you know what i mean but mm-hmm. wang wang used to contact us like weekly I don't think they really have anything new that's come out. They're still operating. Are they? They just I think they just stopped uh I think they got hurt by all the the mods they tried to make. Yes, they tried getting into the mods stuff and it didn't work out. That kind of screwed them. Dude, on this side of things, knowing what stuff costs to attempt to put something out on the market, man, huge yeah. fucking risk. Huge reward if it hits, but huge risk if it doesn't. But they made a ton of money on all those uh build kits. Yeah, you know, yeah, and also, what was the that. remember the uh, build station that they had? Yeah, like the flying saucer that Amy calls it, I think. Yeah, but the one before the that, when it first came out, because the only one on the market was that really expensive one from the UK. Where's mine? It's somewhere here. And then they released their version, which everyone said was like a copy. Oh, I got this one here. There's one of them. Build stations were a thing, man. Everything had builds. They had mods that had build stations built onto them. Yeah, there's yeah. The, there's the yep. the flying saucer one. Yep. Are there batteries in this? It looks like a turntable. Oh, no. 
Dude, it's crazy how many different quail builders are out there because I see all these different names in chat. I see a oh, lot so of quailology, but yeah. There's so many quail builders. Yep. A lot of GM coils, a lot of tons of coil allergy. Of... GM coils are the shit. Yeah, they are really good. Like really clean, man. And the yep. new stuff that he's coming out with, it's like what? Yeah, I, I carry almost all of his coils. The burning tab. GM. That's what it was. The burning tab. The yeah, coil right, the... cloud is a good one too. Yep, use my coupon code MV15. You get fifteen percent off. Coil clout. Yep. Um, how long do you guys usually keep your coils in your? Well, Mark never changes them, but like when you put a build in, how many times do you like remove your wick and then reburn, remove your wick, reburn, remove your wick, reburn, and when do you know when it's time to change it? I try to do it. Like I wish I would do it every three days. In reality, I probably do it every four to five days. How Why long do you change your coils? Cotton, no cotton. No, how long do you change your coil though? Like, how do you know oh. your coils? It's how do you know you're at the end of your coil and it's time to start with a new one? How do you know? When, so if I if I put a coil if I put a pair of coils in, it'll vape really good, like for a while, like days and days. But when it, when a coil comes to the very end of its life. Like it's only going to perform like good for like a day, and then I have to rewick it. I don't know. I just you look at the coil, and it looks like just nasty and mangled. Coil and... like a, start getting like a white residue on it after you've dry burned it. It's weird, and I know right there it's like okay, this coil's not good. Anymore. Yeah, it looks like oxidation. Yeah, like aluminum siding that's oxidized. Yep. Usually think... every month I'll change my coils out. You think that's from overheating it though? Probably yeah. But no, but that's the thing. I don't. When I dry burn it, I don't pump up the water on it. You know, like on a dual coil, something I'll just hit it off at thirty watts. I'm looking in chat, it looks like uh, Z vape, uh, Z vape eighty five two months, forty five days for Ram vapes. I've seen a couple three months out there. I've also seen it, it looks like between like three, like a month and a half to three months. Yeah, for me it's hard because I'm I'm vaping on a bunch of them, and it's not like I'm vaping on just one every day to determine that timeline you know it's hard it's almost impossible just like asking uh how long does battery life last on something that's, that's hard to answer uh 69 variables 69 camaro said that uh dry burn and squelch with water rewick replace when hot spots won't go away uh donation i think you read this from abigail 716 love the show gentlemen thank you thank abigail you. I said that correctly. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I do have an agenda, and I want to make sure that I hit it tonight because we got some stuff toward the tail end of the show. But I wanted to give a huge shout out, Vape Team Love, to uh, Matt Suck My Mod. He got engaged to the beautiful Vanessa. So V and Matt are officially an honest couple. Yep. So there you go. Get blowjobs while they can. Yeah. So sorry, all the, all the boys. Um, Matt is officially off the market. So that little mouth is going to have one place. So congratulations. Um, also, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Manimal. It is Manimal's birthday, so shout out to uh, Manimal. Happy birthday. And happy last, birthday. we also have a uh, shout out to Eric from NVE. Welcome to the uh, Vape Team Facebook group. He joined the Va Vape Team Facebook group. And also Stan joined the group. So welcome Stan to the Vape Team Facebook group. And there's a gentleman by the name of Ed Cap, And he has been ill for a while. And he's doing... Well, he got great news from the doctor, and uh, he is a Grinch believer, according to the Relish. So, big shout out to Ed Cap, and yeah. uh, yep. there you go. Feel better. And if you need medical advice, contact me. Thanks. I would not do that. I would do exactly the opposite of what Mark does for yourself. Just saying. Um, anything else? Uh, we have a giveaway tonight that was supposed to be for last week, and I will say this: that next week on the show, we have a huge vape team show planned for next week. Next week is the 200th episode of the show, and we're gonna blow it out with a bang. We're gonna have the vaping bogan on, and uh, he's gonna be on the show with us next week. We're also gonna be doing the probably the biggest giveaway that we've ever done in the history of the show next week and mark doesn't even know about it but this week he's going to be going through all the shit that he hoards and sells to the local neighborhood people uh he's going to be giving away a ton of stuff we're going to make him go to the post office he's going to ship it all himself on his dime <sighs> yeah mark do you love the people that watch the show 
I love the people that watch the show. I hate the people that work at the post office, and I hate the people that go to the post office. But is the love strong enough to push through? It is strong and enough. And persevere. But still, I got to complain because the post office is like the DMV. It's filled with like all different types of people, and they, they're irritating, and they smell, and all the people that work there are irritated, and they don't want to be there. And it's like, oh, my God, take the package. and oh. Yeah, we might, we might even do a two-hour show next week. Who knows? I mean, I think it could happen. Don't tease them like that. Mike, question. Do you, are you uh, game for maybe uh, some special, I don't know, rebirth RTA giveaways next week for the 200th episode? I'm um, not sure yet. No? They don't have any. Maybe we could do it for the future. We'll take we have, like... to, we have, to, have to see how the week goes. Okay. Uh, the Brooklyn Vapor, $1.99. Mike, let's see some creeper status. Huh? I don't know. It just said... Uh... Mike, let's see some. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Let's see some creeper status. There you go. Whatever creeper status is, he wants to see the creeper, the Brooklyn Vapor, baby. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Jew, apology, super thanks for the. Don't mm. why, why don't you read that one? Super thank you to everyone who came to dinner when we were at MVE. Uh, they also followed all the directions, so thank you. And uh, Amy says, you all rock socks. Who's you all? Can we get the names? I'm not going to give their personal information. Well, so there you, I, go. you probably couldn't name five people that were at that dinner. Yeah, I definitely could, Mark, but I don't I don't need to do a fucking competition right now on the show <laughs> to prove that I cared about I actually talked to people at the dinner. Meanwhile, you sat in the corner and ate your fucking chicken nuggets. So Now Mark wouldn't be able to name five people. Dude, he can't name five people in his immediate family. Mike, sure. Brian, St, Amy, and Bogan. What's my wife's name? Amy, right? Yeah, Amy. There you go. Congratulations, thank you. Uh, also, uh, Amy got super fast shipping from HitThatJuice.com this week. She actually ordered. <laughs> she said she got super fast shipping. So there you go. And and Amy was actually the one responsible uh, for getting the Bogan on the show. So there you go. She wants to take all the credit for everything. So there you go. Um, anything else? I think that's it. We do have a giveaway from Element Vape. So if you guys uh, want to pick this up, if you don't win, you might win. So what are we giving away? Well, we're giving away this beautiful, not this one, but one from Element Vape. This is the double barrel version three from Squid Industries. So, uh, you can enter for your chance to win. This have evening. you guys seen the photo of that mod that looks just like that mod? Yeah, how do we feel about that before Chest Hair Millionaire, $5? Can't wait for episode 200. It's going to be awesome. Brian and Mike, you guys are the best. Mark, eh, you're at least better than Ronnie, LOL. Oh, dude, I'm going to... Mm. Yep. So, let's talk about that for a sec. This morning, we saw the picture yesterday of the mod from Digiflavor. What are your thoughts? I think Mike said it best the other day. China's running out of ideas. So they're going to start cloning people's shit out here. Exactly. It's a little Which, different, but it looks the same. I mean, just look at it. But it's all, I know it's all plastic. That's another thing I've been seeing. That's like a trend now. Everything that China's making out, a lot of shit, it's all plastic. And go figure. E Leaf is coming out with fucking quality looking devices. That actually got some weight to them. E-Leaf. And all these other companies are making plastic devices now. So that, that double barrel copy is a, on plastic, you said? Or no? Yeah, that's what I heard. That, that's plastic, yes. Oh, wow. That might actually be either nice or really shitty. Well, it's probably going to be cheap. Yeah, but what if it's like a nice hard plastic and it's really lightweight? I don't know. Cloud King, $5 donation for the 200th episode to be a two-hour show. Thanks for your consideration and the other... Others requesting the same in chat. Bulk, bulk, bulk. LOL. There you go. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it definitely looks very similar, right? And the question I had and we all sort of talked about was, where's the line drawn of what is accepted, what's going to be called out, and what's going to be sort of – because we've had situations in the past where – Maybe things were copied, maybe things weren't, but there was like a sort of a community boycott about certain things. Um, how many squonkers, you know, look similar 
to something like this. You know what I mean? How many squonkers have the firing button on the side and a boxy shape with a hole for a bottle? How many box mods, you know, look square like yep. this beautiful one of one uh, gift that I received? I mean, how many? Two. Yeah. Well, this is my one that I, that I cherish. <laughs> um, you know, how many how many devices have a button that's in the corner like this to fire? You know, so. You well, read, in the, read in the beginning, more? a clone was considered something that uses the same logo and name it wasn't about the same design so this is just inspired by the yeah, double well, barrel that's the thing that the name the word clone is thrown around very loosely uh donation mr just right one thank you brother does this thing work congrats mike on new rta that bitch sexy ass fuck <laughs> there we go what's up joel my man yeah, I would say heavily inspired. I wouldn't say clone no. or copy. But, I mean, if, you, if you're going to, like, ban the company, then you're going to start banning every company because every company is going to start doing it. Like, Smoke started doing it, which was shocking with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Mi Pod. Well, the thing is, uh, I'll give an example. This is a perfect example, too. It's like... Yep. Yeah, the pods are totally different on both of them. They just look similar because of the way the drip tip and the fill port, right? I mean, I think that the market follows trends of what sells and what's popular. You know yeah. what I mean? And everything but, sort of loops around and comes back. Well, people complain about that. I know. But why don't they complain about this? Same situation going on here, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Also, like how many cars, you know, took styling cues from like BMW, you know what I mean? Like a lot of trends like or, or uh, refrigerators that look similar because one sells well and then people copy it or stovetops or all kinds of shit in your life. But where's yeah, the so line drawn of what's acceptable and what's not? And also you have to understand, like, I'll be honest, if somebody like when, when the drop deck was starting to come out on other things, it pissed me off a little bit, Mark. I mean, it was a little upsetting. And uh, when I believe I gave credit to Brian <laughs> in my presentation video for the Nada, I said we have. The... I'm fucking with you, dude. I Thank totally you. I was think cool. I was with the it. only person that gave Brian credit for stealing, not stealing, but borrowing the build deck design. But I think it's to be expected that popular stuff inspires other people to come out with their versions, maybe even better versions of that design it's when you start making exact one-to-one -one copies or you start putting the branding on there or you take the exact same thing like when you have um the the same version of something on a site like fast tech and it says you know rebirth like or you know styled, styled right that's fucking bullshit especially if it has the rebirth logo those on are it clones. yeah those are clones People do like to complain. It gives there's, people stuff to there's do. There's stuff that's heavily inspired, and there's stuff that's an actual clone. The stuff that's heavily inspired, people like to call it clone when it's not a clone. Right. It's heavily inspired. Big difference between the two. Right. I'm going to say Stefan Garlington. I don't know if it's Stephen or Stefan, but he said it perfectly. I think people just like to complain. That's exactly what it is. People just like to complain and mm -hmm. make videos starting fucking drama and shit. So... These companies are out to make money. That's all they're out for. So, you know, just if like the you. design is popular, fuck it. Yep. The way I say is, if you're upset over something and it really bothers you, don't buy it. Yep. Or these people should get, you know, copyrights, you know, on stuff. And they should start, you know, getting their trademarks done and everything to protect themselves if they care and yep. they want to put the money out there. <laughs> but then they have to get lawyers to actually enforce it. Shane Smith. Yep. Uh, but, Kyle C. The, so the Reload S is okay now. I never called the Reload S a clone. The Reload S was heavily inspired, the build deck. I never said it was okay to do clones or to do whatever. Big difference. Dun, 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 yep. dun, dun. And also, guys, you have to understand that we also learn as we go along, too. And, and trends change. Things change. We're evolving as we go along. Like We're not stuck and written in stone of how we are. Everything's sort of fluid, and uh, it's just the way you have to be in this world. Yeah. This is where, again, I just made these comparisons to where what a clone is and what heavily inspired is. 
And people still don't get that. They're still confused over what, that whole meaning. Go on Fast Tech, just like Mark said, I mean, Brian, and uh, you'll find, for example, drop dead styled. It'll say drop dead on it. Meanwhile, it's not even produced by uh, Helvate. Yes. Total clone. That's why it's called styled. They're, they're not writing drop dead clone. They're writing styled, but it's a clone. Exactly. So uh, that's, that's a clone. And then there's heavily inspired. It's two different. Those are different things right there. Uh, uh, Senior Loki, five dollars. Uh, Amy says, "Don't forget your dare, Brian." A heavy hashtag, heavy hitters for love. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Thank I agree, you. Dylan. Thank you, Amy. I would, I would take it as a compliment if someone did that. Well, someone Stan, did do that, but um, I still Dan like Riker. About it. You nailed it. That's exactly what it is. Also, the truth is, like when something comes out, the first version, the original idea of something is always going to be, if it's good, the most popular. Everybody else is sort of just chasing crumbs after that. And it, it, the return diminishes after each new... Like, how many times when the Velocity came out, the Velocity, everybody wanted it, they weren't available, they had Velocity-styled versions, and then all of a sudden, like, uh, Geek Vape and a lot of other companies started using the Velocity deck, but by the 15th Velocity deck device, it got tired. Like, everything gets tired. Chest Hair Millionaire, $2. Ronnie Cash is a bad clone of Mark. I'm going to come on your hairy chest... Yeah, we need to set up a date for Mark and chest hair. Uh-huh. He's going to get it in the back. Yep. Uh, Stephen Garlington, four ninety nine. One day Mark will pronounce my name correctly. Congrats on the RTA mic. Can't wait to pick it up. Hashtag Corona Crew and hashtag Heavy Hitter. There you go. Last right. time I said his name, I said Stefan, and then you guys Stephen. corrected me. But look, it's spelled Stefan. Oh, my God. That Stephen is, not... is with an F. Learn, learn how to spell. No. Tell me in chat, folks, Stefan is not spelled with a PH. It looks like Stefan. It does look like Stefan. PH is pronounced the... Stephen. Okay. Well, that's why I said. And we've corrected said... you a million times, but you still. I don't know. Stephen. Do you know Marcus pronounced Mar? The K is silent. The K in, is in silent. In Poland, where, he, where his family comes from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fagan Industries just uh, made a comment. Drop dead inspired clone. Clone now available. There you go. Yeah. You're on faganindustries.com. The only thing that really pisses me off over the whole thing, I don't I, I understand people are on tight budgets and stuff like that. The thing that makes me so fucking upset is when somebody from a certain country buys the product, they message me with a picture and they say, Is this authentic? I can clearly see that it's not, but they purchased it at a local shop that thought it was authentic. Then they have a problem with it, and then they have a serial number that matches up to no scratch and check. And it's it's a it's a it's a fucking dud. And they paid like thirty five dollars for this clone, and the shop made ten times profit because they bought it for fucking six dollars. Well, they're buying them all fast tech and selling them as authentic, probably. Yep. And it's bullshit. That stuff makes me so mad. Uh, Chester Millionaire, two dollars. Mark, you know you would be my catcher, big boy. There you go. I got something for you to catch. Yeah, nothing. You couldn't even clear his fucking ass hair. Open wide, big boy, because daddy's coming in. Mm-hmm. And he's not wearing the rubber tonight either. Yep. They call me Raw Dog. It's uh, raw. Anything else, gentlemen? I have to do this, uh, this fucking balloon knot. Let's blow it. You got to blow it and pop it, right? Uh, did I lose the balloons? I think I lost uh, them. We don't need this. All right, let's see. Here. Only buy from shops, shops if it's sealed. Uh, Dan Smith, just to confirm something, when the Kylan was released, I already had a prototype of the recurve. RDM. That makes no sense, though. Dude, I'm like a little bitch. I'm like a little fucking bitch. Why did you lick it? Dude. I... And they got to pop it, apparently. Is this part of the phobia he has? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Look at his face. You alright? Sure. You turn to red. I'm done. You gotta pop it, I think. Pop that fucker. Pop, pop goes the weed. Are you afraid of clowns too? No, I'm not afraid of fucking clowns. Oh my god, it's fucking it gives me fucking goosebumps, dude. Nah. Bumps all over my arms now. 
Brian was molested as a child by a clown that his family got him for his birthday. And I guess instead of a condom, the clown put a <laughs> balloon over his penis when he was uh, giving him oral sex. And now Brian's kind of scarred for life. Dude, does anybody else? Am I the only person that has fucking balloon issues? I have chalkboard issues. Chalkboards just skeeve me. Oh, my God. I can't stand this. Oh, Just having it sitting in the room fucks with me. I feel like it's like this energy that's just waiting to fucking explode. So why do you have it next to you? Throw it away. Throw it on the other side of the I room. was going to pop it. You got to pop, pop it. that fucker then. Part of the dare. Hold on. Stab it with a coil or something. Yeah, bitch. There you go. Woo. Here we go. Dare done. Mark, get outside, motherfucker. Uh, the video will be up. I'll send it to Brian next week, and he'll play it during the show. The special 200 episode. Man, there's just some fucking issue. Like, I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather get, like, paper cuts or fucking, like, I'd rather cut myself with a knife than, than have that balloon, man. That is terrible. Fuck. There's probably some deep-rooted trauma there or something. I believe so. <sighs> All right, guys. That's it. It's 11.01, and uh, that's another show done. We have to pick a winner for the uh, the giveaway, so let's do this. Woo! How about that? Vape Team Live giveaway time. It's that time again. So, uh, yeah, Hell Vape, hit that juice, Inakin, Element Vape, and we're going to do a giveaway for Element Vape right now. Mark? Run the numbers. I'm gonna fucking run my cock off your face. Hold on. Uh, I would fucking let you do it. Oh, I like to patiently wait for the X one. Man, that makes me fucking. Uh, it's like getting hit on by somebody you're not interested in, and then all of a sudden you realize that the drink you just put down had something in it, and you know it's about to go down. So, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Condoms go. <laughs> Do I have a problem with condoms? Doesn't use them. No, because they're <laughs> they're filled with my fat dick. Here we go. You're putting a fucking balloon on your dick. It's different for some reason because it's yeah. not. A, I don't have to blow it first of all. Mark blows condoms, but yes. I don't. Um, yeah, it's sort of like a little disc, and then it just rolls. So Mark actually puts condoms in that dildo he got before he uses it. Yeah. How did you know? <laughs> actually, I, w I was going to buy condoms this past weekend. They actually put them on there. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. If you got a number for me. Um, 199. Wow. He likes the right. mold. I guess nobody that has a lower number will ever win a giveaway on this show. So, sorry, guys. Here we go. 199. The winner is... Boop, 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 boop. Nobody. Let's go back again. I got a feeling 199, we're going to be here for a while. Oh, wait. No, we're not. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. By I'm the way, say... only only U.S. only. And if you win the giveaway, you need to co contact amyrelishcoo at gmail.com with your name, your address, and your telephone number. And choose your color. And you need to put in the subject line of your email to amyrelishcoo at gmail.com, you need to put Element Vape Winner. You don't got to do all that. Just yes, you do. Straight. Yes, you do. No, you have to do exactly that. Amy will, if you do it wrong, Amy will contact you back and just, Brian's trying to say. Mark, you're like the half-assed guy at the DMV and why winner. you don't like it. We have a winner that I guarantee. Are you fucking yelling at me? He's not in the States. I could feel this one. It's Jah Jah <laughs> Jahidian 299. Jahidian, J eight J A H I T I A N two nine nine. Why wouldn't he be from the states? Jahidian, how the fuck do you know where he's from? Uh, yeah, exactly. You don't. I'm just saying. Does it, I don't I'm just saying you have no idea. I, I might put money on this one, Mike. Jahidian, congratulations. I'm probably saying your name wrong, but it sounds. You like it? Pretty sexy uh, that way. So good, man. So fucking good. Please mm -mm. post a chat where you're from, Jahadian. Did he send this to you, Mike? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I actually got marks here too, I think, somewhere. Oh that the cookie one? That yeah. shit's good as hell. I don't know, you haven't tried it. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff I thought. 
from is, is, from Kuwait. Yeah, Dude. remember he gave us a bottle and uh, what was that expo we all went to? Oh, yo, that's right, right. Yeah. Wait a minute, you were there at that expo? Yep, he barely there. he was barely there. The yeah. one in Virginia. Yeah. So so Hussein from Kuwait buys this from Don Vapor, yeah. right? And then ships it to Kuwait and then ships it to us as a gift. No, no, it's made in the states. Don Vapor. That's what the American flag is. Yeah. It's made in the States for Don Vapor that's in Kuwait. Oh, okay. He lives in Kuwait, so. I gotcha. I don't... You can't find that liquid here. Gotcha. Jihadian isn't uh, replying in chat. So I don't know if he just doesn't understand English. English or... Oh, Mark, please. I don't give think it he's to... in chat, whoever this oh. is. That you he's from Haiti. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's from Tahiti, people are saying. Tahiti? Yeah. He's in Tahiti. All right, reroll another uh, person. Thank you. I nailed it. Are we doing 199 again? Yeah, why not? Here we go. 199, are you out of your mind? 199. I feel bad for the people that are in the lower number slots. Like, they've never. Here we go. Oh, we got a winner. Ready? This is probably Wisconsin or Detroit <laughs> or something. Chris Toth. T O T H. Chris Toth. Like you have a toth ache? Like I'm going to toth the ball to you like you have a gay lisp? Yep. I'm going to toth the ball. Get ready. Here it comes. All right, Mark. That's enough. Thank you. All right. <laughs> this is when Mark gets himself in trouble. I'm sorry. Chris. I love when he gets himself in trouble, though. Congratulations to Chris. Chris. What if you toss that dick in my ass? Oh, dude, I need to relax. <laughs> I really do. All right, let's see. Oh, shit, Florida, he wrote. There you go. There you go, Florida. Go Florida, not Wisconsin. Dude, how is Mark's right a lot of times. He's wrong a lot more, though. Dude, I'm, yeah. I'm always right. Yeah, you're not. You want to show showcase a little bit of that microphone magic that you're working with? No. You want to close the show with an announcement, maybe? We we possibly can maybe what we'll do we see do? what happens. Let's, well, the show's over. Oh, is it? I yeah. thought we had more. One giveaway tonight. We have one giveaway tonight. What kind of show is this? It's the vape team, man. One fucking. Giveaway. Okay, then fucking give away more shit. You got a whole panel of stuff behind you. Yep. I don't. That's All right, a green screen. Mark, pick a winner. You're giving away whatever the fuck you want because obviously you feel like the show needs more. I don't think I have anything to give away. Mark, show off your new mic skills, man. Yeah, give us a little mic rundown. Like introductions. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I can't think. I'm on the spot now. It doesn't feel natural. Oh, come on, man. Hmm. Dude, he gets so awkward when you put him on the spot. Yeah, I don't like being put on the spot. I like just coming out of nowhere. Kind of like, you know, like, I, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Do I have anything? If I have something to give away, I'll give it away. Um, give away the one of those expensive mods that you never want to give away. Uh, I don't have anything. Just give away the camera that's up there. In the lens. Yeah. It's not like you're gonna use them. Uh, here we go. Will the 200th episode be international giveaways? Damn. I wanna, look at all those mods. I don't think look, so. You're a hoarder. I want to save the giveaways for the 200th episode. I'll give away a bunch of shit on my shelf next week. All right, well, you, you're the one that brought it up. That's what I was thinking. Oh. I'll, let's save it for next week, folks. Will you be giving away a bulk? Um, if I have them, I'm supposed to be getting them Monday or Tuesday. So if I get them, I will do a giveaway for one. I'm sure we're going to be giving away bulks on this show in the future. I'm going to yeah. demand it, actually. I'm pretty sure. And I know that Hellvape always loves to support the show and do giveaways for the Rebirth RTA. So well, there you go. Anything else, gentlemen? Mike That's Vapes, anything it. else? That's it, brother. That's it? Mark, do you want to sign us off? Um, All right, fuck it. You're, you're just killing us. <laughs> you just... I don't like being put on the fucking spot. It's really quiet. So why don't you do something, you fuck? Dude, why does it smell like condoms? Dude, it's... Holy shit, it smells like rubbers. 
<laughs> that's because that's where you suction cup that dildo. Mm. That smells good for some reason, too. All right, Mark. I guess we're not going to do it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for uh, joining us for another show. 199 Bites the Dust. Next week, we're going to be back. Huge giveaway. The Vaping Fucking Bogan. And, uh, yeah, the Vape Team, Cloud Entertainment, 200. It's been a long road, and we're going to be back. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Next week on the Vape Team, the Vaping Bogan. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Real quick, uh, Texas Bulldog seventy four two dollars. Mark, give away a BJ. I want to feel your jammy. So there you go. There you go. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you guys next week. Bye. Perfect timing. Here we go. We're not done yet. Holy fucking shit. It's a hell of an outro. Yeah, I extended it by like 30, 30 minutes. Dude, I got like shit running down my leg because I didn't wipe. Uh, it it's doesn't it surprise me. An hour and 10 minutes. I got a yeah. rash, my balls. Fucking room smells like a goddamn dirty diaper. That's fucking.